Fangirl Nation, we're back with a brand new season on Fangirl Sports Network. We're so excited to be back and previewing the upcoming 2018 NFL season. We've got some exciting new shows in store and we can't wait to share them all with you. We're upping our Fangirl game, so follow all of the fun at FGSN.com. Welcome to Tracy's Top 5, where we will begin this season by looking at the five players to watch. We'll start with the team that's closest to my heart, Jimmy Garoppolo. After being traded from the New England Patriots to the San Francisco 49ers midway through last season, Mr. Garoppolo hopes to prove to Niner fans that he is the real deal after going 5-0 to end the 2017 season. The $137.5 million man is looking to take his team from rebuilding to contender. Let the games begin. Next up, Deshaun Watson. The former first round draft pick for the Houston Texans has to bounce back from a torn ACL and show that he can play at the same level as last season. Texans fans have their fingers crossed that Watson, a highlight reel king, will be the team's first real franchise quarterback. He's also a really awesome person, so I personally am hoping he has an amazing season. And next we have the Pro Bowl running back for the Arizona Cardinals, David Johnson. He was among the top running backs in 2016, but in week one of 2017, he sustained a broken wrist. With just a few years in the league, Johnson will be fighting hard to show he's 100% healed and worth a big contract. Not an easy feat for running backs. Next up, Shaquem Griffin. Fifth round draft pick for the Seattle Seahawks, Griffin lost his left hand at the age of four due to a rare disease. The newly minted linebacker will be joining the Hawks where his twin brother Shaquille has been since last season. Fans all over the country are holding their breath, hoping that Griffin is successful in the NFL. I'm a Niners fan and not a Seahawks fan, and I hope that Griffin is successful in the NFL. I know I said players to watch, but there is a coach to watch as well. John Gruden, Chucky himself, is back with the Oakland Raiders. Gruden has not coached since 2009, but that did not stop him from getting a record-setting 10-year, $100 million deal to bring the Oakland Raiders back from the dead. Just win, baby! So we have some new rules for the 2018 NFL season, a new helmet rule and a new catch rule, both put into place with player safety in mind. That's right, a lot of players and coaches are worried about the new rules because until we're well into the season, nobody's quite sure exactly how these rules will be applied. So expect a lot of controversy in the first half of the season. Let's take a look at two of the new rules, starting with the helmet rule. It's now a foul for a player anywhere on the field to lower their helmet before initiating contact, not just with another player's helmet, but also the rest of their opponent's body. Confused? Uh-huh. Good. So is most everyone else in the league. Penalties for the new helmet rule include a loss of 15 yards or even ejection from the game. That's rough. Next up, we have the catch rule. For a completed catch, players must have control of the ball, get two feet or another body part down, and make a football move, such as trying to gain extra yardage or have the ability to make that move. But wait, there's more. Of course there is. Players no longer have to have complete control of the ball all the way to the ground, and sudden movement of the ball is now not an automatic loss of control. So basically you're telling me last year that catch that you were sure was a catch and then the ref said to you that's not a catch was in fact a catch? That sounds about right. Well congratulations, you guys were right. Unfortunately your team still lost. I mean not Tyler's team because they won the Super Bowl but everybody else's teams. Sorry guys. Hey Fangirl Nation, I'm Christina and I'm sharing with you how to create the ultimate spiked lemonade to sip while celebrating the sweet taste of victory or to help wash down the sting of defeat. Boo. You just need some fresh mint, some blueberries, one cup of ice, some simple syrup, some lemon juice. If you don't have time to mix the fresh lemon juice, you can always go with some organic lemonade. That works just fine. And my personal favorite, the Tito's vodka. So we will start with some ice, and then you want to add the simple syrup. And I heard if you uh, muddle up the simple syrup with the ice, it opens up the flavors some more. So we're gonna go with that. Then I will add some blueberries. Good antioxidants for your skin, your hair, your nails. Fresh mint, smells delicious. The lemon juice, shake it up again. Get a good workout in. Then we add the best part, which is the vodka. 
What was that one lady on Food Network that just kept pouring and pouring? I won't be like that today. Good shape. Make sure that you mix everything in there so that the blueberries are completely broken and the flavor will really just seep into the whole cocktail, which is making it delicious. Make sure you've got some ice in your glass before you pour it. And let's see how this looks. So delicious. You can see the little flecks of blueberry in there. I'll pour one for myself, why not? Now to garnish blue and green for the Seahawks. So voila. Now that I've garnished, I'm going to need a taste tester and hopefully I can get some beautiful young lady to come help me out. Oh! It's Raiders fangirl Ivana. What's up? All right, I hope you like vodka. That's your question. <laughs> Let's see, how does it taste? Cheers. Mm, it smells delicious, first of all. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Oh wow, <laughs> she loves it, clearly. It's so refreshing. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's like, it's a catch. Like if it was a guy, it'd be a catch. This is the perfect cocktail. It really is. Cheers. Thank you, cheers. And now for a segment we call Fangirl Says Fail. Cleveland Brown fans are excited about their first round draft pick, Baker Mayfield. We're not sure if they've seen this picture though. In truth, this photo is Mayfield repping one of his new endorsement products. We'll give you a hint, it's not the tiger, it's not the rolls, it's not the jeans, the shoes, the headbands, the wristband, or the necklace. Guess what it is. Rob Gronkowski, the league's top tight end and notorious Patriot party boy, took some time off during the off season to invent a new type of mouth guard that will not only distract his opponents, but also be the crowd pleasing party favor at Bernie Man. Proving once again that he's one of the most well-conditioned athletes in the league, Odell Beckham Jr. is clearly ready for opening day after sitting out last season. Fun fact, one of Beckham's tattoos is just a list of his social media passwords. We are pumped and ready to go, and if the preseason was any indication, it should be one heck of an NFL season. So join us for all the first downs, touchdowns, and false starts. It's football, baby. Go Niners! No, but actually, go Niners. No, uh, go Seahawks. Go Raiders. No one's saying go, go Seahawks. Go Rams. No, Chargers. Go the Chargers. Eagles. Oh, whatever. The Eagles have their winners. Niners. 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 Jimmy forever. But we would all agree with Jimmy forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>